Hello and welcome to a new Godot tutorial. Today the topic is WebSockets and I would like to show you a very very that simple example how you can easily set up a WebSocket client. I recently set up a new project for myself and I would like to use my old uh, Timbertail servers I created in a recent project or better said a recent game I released and there I already had a server based on Node.js which was written with WebSockets for connection. So I was testing out how I could use the server with Godot and I came up with a very very simple solution using WebSockets and today I would like to show you how to implement the client side in Godot with a WebSocket and I hope you can learn something. Start from scratch we just started Godot and we create a new project. This is our WebSocket client example. We create this folder and we click create and edit. So we are in the engine, we just start with a 2D scene. Of course it would also work with a 3D scene, but we take 2D for now. We just say it's our main scene and we just add a script to it. So I just uh, remove all that stuff from the template because I don't really need it. So what we need first is we just do an export so we can add it later. I first have my socket URL. For this example, we just use a local address where our server will be located. So in my case, it's localhost at port 3000. So we will need this URL to connect our WebSocket client to. So on this URL, our server will be located later on. So the next thing we need is a client. So we need another variable which is our client and here the magic begins. We just use the WebSocket client which is inbuilt in Godot and we create a new instance. Next up we have the ready function. In the ready function we just set up our signals for the client. We would like to have a connection close and we of course want to handle and we of course want to handle them by ourselves in this class so we have this like that and we connect the connection error which we also want to handle on the same function because the connection is closed as well then we have another signal which is the connection I hate this word established always hard to write it <laughs> so we have on uh, I say on connected and last but not least we have the con we have the data received signal and this is the signal where we get our data later on so for now we have these uh, four signals connected to our client which is everything we need at this point. The only thing left we want to do is now connecting the client. So we just using the client connect to URL and we just use our socket URL we specified in the top of the script. Now we just check if we have an error or not and we can just print something like unable to connect and then we would say the process of this file is false. So to get everything running we will need to have the process function because we need to pull the data. So this pull function here needs to be called to actually receive data and to make the client working. So this one is called in the process function. So last but not least we only have to do we only have to write the functions we defined on top. So we have the on connection closed. We can here some set up something like was a clean close and when we set false and then we could say something like print closed clean was clean. And of course we say here the process is false as well because the connection is closed 
and then we have the on connected there we could also have a protocol which we set to not existing and then we can say something like print connected with protocol and we just say this is our protocol these are our two functions so one more is left and that one is maybe the most interesting one we have the on data and here we get our data from our server in my case i always use json data so we have to json to use json parse here if you want to connect to your server on the client you always have to use get peer one this one is very important to use because this one is connecting to the server then we get the packet and we get string from utf8 and afterwards we had the result which is our payload in this case so what we can do in this case is something like print uh, received data and we could just add our payload to lock it right here so this is the very very minimal setup for the websocket client we could already connect to it we have an on connection closed and we can receive data. The one thing we are missing now and which is maybe very, very interesting for you is how we send data actually to the server. So I will just write a small function for you so you can see how you would actually send data. In this case, we would do it like before. We have the client, we would have get peer one and then we would just put packet instead of get packet and in the put packet method we can now use something like json print test test and so at the end we have also to do to utf8 and one bracket is there missing this is it so i also have the coding style which is the with two lines here in between which is the go.gd strip guideline so that's everything we need to set up our websocket client so we have a url we want to connect to we instantiate the client for the websocket client we just connect to the signals the client is giving to us and we have our functions there afterwards we connect to the url in the process method we look that we poll all data and we get informed actually if something is happening and so we have our functions to say the different events so we have the connection closed we have to connect it with protocol or we have to receive data if we want to send data we just use something like put packet and use json for that that's everything you need to set up a websocket client now we could go on with the websocket server and i will show you how this work is actually working in the next video and then we can also see how it fits together and how it's working together i hope you liked this video and i hope you liked these shorter versions of tutorials because i would like to make more of them in the future with just small tips and tricks how you can easily learn things and how you could easily get things done without hearing my voice all the time and actually get back to your work because this is what is important so please comment below if you have any suggestions and also leave your comments if you want to see more about that i hope to see you with the next video bye